before class was dismissed one Friday in September, music teacher Timothy King promised that next week he would show his students how to play a hit Selena song on the guitar for National Hispanic Heritage Month. But when King returned Monday, he found his first floor classroom had been ransacked at Robert Fulton Elementary School in the back of the yard's neighborhood. Stolen were about 30 instruments acoustic guitars, ukuleles, keyboards, an electric bass, a flute valued at $2,700, according to King and a Chicago police report. More than two months later, no arrests have been made and the investigation has been suspended pending new leads, according to police. A private donation has allowed the school to replace some of the instruments, but buying the rest will still strain the budget. We just can't do as much as we used to be able to do, said King, 28. I do trombone the first couple of weeks, then I'll do guitar. Then I'll do keyboard, then I'll do drums. But it's like I can't do guitar anymore, I can't do ukulele anymore because it's not enough. It's been really difficult. School principal Lisette Rua opened an investigation into the classroom theft, according to emails provided by King. And she ordered school security to change the angle of a surveillance camera outside to reduce blind spots after a review of the videos did not show anyone entering the music classroom on the day of the burglary. Neither Rua nor Chicago Public Schools responded to requests for comments. School insurance does not cover the instruments, and King said he will have to spend his entire annual budget to replace them. He had planned to use the money to buy other kinds of instruments to expose his students to more choices. King's budget consists of $1,000 from the school and a $1,000 grant from Ingenuity, an arts advocacy group that works with the city, he said. King believes he should be able to replace most of the instruments because of teacher discounts. It kind of sets me back because I already had a classroom set of guitars, so now I'm trying to get a classroom set of something else, said King, who is in his third year at Fulton, teaching kindergarten through elementary students. King serves as the arts liaison for his school, coordinating professional training and working with other teachers. The reality is when it's time for budget cuts, music arts is one of the first things that goes. I just feel like, if it was another neighborhood or if these were laptops, or something or computers, it would be huge. It would be a whole different story, he said. But a couple of instruments on the south side of Chicago. King's plight is experienced by scores of teachers district-wide who work in cash-strapped schools without extra funds, said Wendy Catton, director of strategy at Raise Your Hand for Illinois Public Education, a statewide advocacy group. She blamed years of budget cuts and the lack of sustainable funding for arts educations. There's not an extra dollar sitting around, she said. Schools are using all their discretionary money, what little they have, and it's really hard. Since 2012, CPS has pledged to improve arts education at all grade levels with the launch of a plan to enhance instruction on visual arts, music arts, dance and drama.